Italian designer Pier Paolo Lazzarini is returning with a brand new, breathtaking yacht design and concept. Pier Paolo Lazzarini of Lazzarini Design Studio is renowned for designing one of the world's finest super yachts. The designer has taken yacht design to an entirely new level with his most recent creation. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking inside Saudi Arabia's $8 billion megacity. Yeah, you heard it right. Lazzarini plans to build the world's largest and most extravagant floating metropolis. After creating a super yacht in the shape of a swan, the designer will construct a sea turtle shaped terror yacht that the world has yet to see. The itinerant yacht will provide commercial and amusement services to inhabitants of the floating metropolis. The $8 billion mega vessel floating city will be named Pangeos after a supercontinent that existed for 200 million years during the late Paleozoic and early Mesozoic periods. Pangea existed in the Mesozoic epics. The project will be constructed in Saudi Arabia, and if realized, it will be the largest marine vessel ever constructed as a vast floating city. Construction is scheduled to commence in 2033 at the King Salman port. The completion of the project is anticipated to take up to 8 years and will cost $8 billion. The enormous hull has 9 distinct bows that are subdivided into numerous sections. The initiative will be designed and managed by the Italian designer Pier Paolo Lazzarini of Rome, Italy-based Lazzarini Design Studio. The studio utilized 3D technology to construct the design and concept of the city's floating homes. It will be comparable to a massive floating metropolis with sufficient space for typical city amenities such as parks, shopping centers, public transportation, and hotels. Once completed, the term yacht in the shape of the sea turtle will be the largest floating superstructure ever constructed. The floating city would have a surface area of approximately 550 meters or 1,800 feet and a maximum width of approximately 610 meters or 2,000 feet. It'll be three times larger than the world's largest yacht, Azam, which has a 590-foot surface area. The project, according to Lazzarini, is technically a yacht, but the plan is to transform it into a completely functional and self-sufficient city. It can travel vast distances by floating on water, but can also be anchored to the side of a pier. It is capable of transporting visitors at a rate of 5 knots. It is estimated that the enormous ship can accommodate a total of 60,000 people, excluding the undetermined number of crew and personnel in the midst of the ocean. There will be sufficient residences and villas in the city to accommodate everyone who desires to live there. On each wing of the Pangeos, there will be 69 residences and 19 extravagant and luxurious overwater villas. Some of these residences offer breathtaking views of the ship's central port area, while others overlook the ocean. There will also be hotels, retail centers, and nightclubs for partygoers. Each of the 9 HTS electric engines powering the itinerant floating city, Pangeos, will have a capacity of 16,800 horsepower. In addition to these power sources, solar panels will be installed in the area to provide the necessary energy to power the turtle-shaped terra yacht. The large wings of the yacht will also harvest energy from the breaking of the waves, allowing Pangeos to cruise indefinitely without emitting any superfluous waste. The ship's body extends from the entrance of the port area to the main piazza and into the vast terrace villa. It will then lead to private residences, rooftop terraces, structures, and the upper shell zone, which provides a landing zone for flying vehicles. More than 30,000 cells and cluster compartments can be housed in the city's substructure, providing an unsinkable floating solution. The majority of the materials for these will be steel. Although this is a prototype, both Lanzarini Design Studio and Saudi Arabia are serious about it. Both parties desired the realization and construction of the dreamlike floating metropolis in order to raise the necessary funds for the endeavor. They have launched a crowdfunding campaign that allows anyone to purchase a $16 virtual ticket. Fundraising can also be accomplished by purchasing NFT, which grants the purchaser the right to a virtual residence on the Turtle Yacht. This year, they will also launch a Terra Yacht experience and metaverse for those who are intrigued. They have yet to announce the launch date for the metaverse this year. It was not specified how much money they have received or how many individuals have participated in their NFT initiatives. So that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so that you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Stay tuned and we'll catch you in the next video.